Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Agatha All Along Season 1, Episode 3, titled Through Many Miles of Tricks and Trials. The Coven Faces the First Perilous Trial on the Witch's Road. Now, technically, I lied at the end of the last episode because I'm not coming immediately into this. I decided to upload the last episode, let it sit with me for a little and grab a new drink before starting this one. Just so I'm coming into this with a bit more fresh of a mind for what could happen. But anyway, uh, don't really have much to say about this episode other than it's the first trial. There's very interesting get-ups in this. And judging by the thumbnail, this could be um, Jen's um, trial. Just going off of the vibes of the thumbnail on that. So let's see if I'm correct in three, two, one. Also, apparently, the teen's identity has actually been spoiled through, um, like, casting list and, um, subtitles for different languages. So, for, I've also seen people taking to calling him Toto after... The hot topic scene, so that is a lot easier than trying to find a grammatic way to say teen in it as a name. Technically, it chose the teen. But yes, it was following him towards Agatha. Sharon. It did say witchy enough, so...
It's a tree. Oh, Mrs. Hart. Miss Dearsome. I'd stay on the path if I was you. A swamp of despair. Stay on the road. somewhere so like I said this just based off the vibes of the thumbnail seems to be Jen's trial meaning this will be the potions test but what is Agatha's trial because potions earth um or green witch, whatever. Protection. Um, divination. Those are defined classes, but um, the teen and Agatha. <laughs> what are their trials going to be? Because what is their class of magic? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Hey, she's clean now.
didn't quite get to read that, but I assume they're gonna. Hmm, well, that's polite. That's really neat. Uh, wine. Ah, that's what you meant by a child sacrifice. People were correct about that being related to the Darkhold. Hmm. But I mean, considering she had a memorial room for her son. Hmm. They're really seeding into all of the theories that people have already come to. I don't think the teen's old enough to drink that. Okay, he doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah, that's ominous. I always worry when someone has a double serving of something. I was wondering if the bottle itself was going to refill in a drink it all before the timer elapses, but you can't drink it all because...
profundo. Was that one of her weird um, premonition things or? Um, oh, even he's going against her. She's definitely feeling some sort of connection with the team. It's episode one. Cooking pot? Oh, the sink. Hmm, it's all fingers stuff. Hmm. That's an interesting. I love you guys. Try to save Agatha. 
Hmm. So her thing's going to be... She's going to sacrifice herself. And I have a feeling the Trail of Save Agatha is going to be directed towards the teen or... So mustard seeds. What in the shining? Red. Does the lighting have anything to do with it or? Nah, because hers is going blue as well. Green. Lady Death? Hmm. Was that actual death? Was that just a embodiment of the death card or? I did not know that one. Dang it, Agatha. A lot less time since Agatha put a crack in it.
They're gonna remember to grab one of Mrs. Hart's hairs, yeah? Hello, little Nikki. I really do hope this works on Miss Davis because Please tell me they did just leave her to die. I really hope it works considering her hair wasn't in it. Everyone into the oven, come on before the thing cracks. What's with the aspect change? Or is it just the lighting makes it more noticeable? Well, you made it through the first trial. 
and no one got left behind. That's good. I had a feeling that was going to happen because, like I said, they didn't use her hair in the potion and also didn't seem like they got it into her mouth in time for the timer because she's the one who the timer was actually tied to. I did say that as we go on, each trial we would lose someone. And I, I said too early that we ha they all survived. She was the nice one. Not that um, Lilia doesn't seem nice, but they brought this old lady into this. She had no idea what was coming and they just... Left her to die. They're all at fault there because none of them thought about her until they noticed that the time was still going. But I have a feeling that this may be put on to Agatha again because that's another person from one of her covens that has died. Well, technically, she's not the one that is responsible for that. They all are. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, that works with the whole, especially with the visions that, um, Lilia was being given this episode and her whole, you want to change your fate. And the fact, her fate is, she's going to die. She obviously was given the death card. And while yes, the death card does not necessarily automatically mean you're going to die. It also symbolizes rebirth or a part, a part of your life dying and changing into something else. Technically, the fact, but the fact that death herself showed up and she was like, I love you guys. Try and save Agatha. The maybe even the get off me from the from the last episode. So it seems she's not gonna make it. But here's the issue: they just lost their green witch. And to the potions trial. Like it would make sense if they lost the respective member to the respective trial. But if green really is the most important one, sure, Sharon wasn't trained, but it seems like not just anyone can do it, or maybe it's because they're specifically studied in it that it's their trial. I do wonder what Mrs. Davis's trial would have been. Maybe, like, since she wasn't actually a witch, she didn't have the craft. Maybe it was, um, figuring out how to cultivate and repurpose, um, occultish plants and her, um, green thumb nature could have played into that. So, that could have, well, been the trial, like... I could have seen that, but I guess this is also why um, we were told that, well, we were introduced to someone who's going to be very useful. 
Why am I being vague? We know that Rhea Vidal's a green witch. And we saw in trailer her crawling up out of the earth in the witch's road. So obviously she's going to take the position of the green witch. There's the question of how she manages to get down there. Since you need a coven to get into there. Unless green witch is just naturally able to traverse into this other dimension. Um, why did I close spell it of the witch's road tab? What? What was the line? What was the line? Circle stone with fate, unlock their hidden gate, marching ever forward near the, neath the wooden shrine. I stray not from the path, I hold death's hand in mine. I did... Sharon did stray from the path. And as I said last time, death is both capitalized and hyperlinked, implying that it is the actual character death. The one that love that both Deadpool and Thanos are in love with, or at least were at one point. And then in the comics, Thanos cursed Deadpool with immortality so that he could never be with Lady Death. And that's also why he did the snap in the comics was to adhere himself to Lady Death and all that. Like death as a primordial entity, like eternity in that. He's an actual character. So, it seems that, and also she was shown on the inscription in um, Guardians 1. I think she may have been in the um, temple that um, Thor went to with all the statues of the cosmic entities. So we've seen death before, and I'm pretty sure we just actually saw death in this episode I don't know who the guy with um, Jen is I'm assuming he's the one that um, bound her magic I was trying to see if he was like a um religious person from the outfit but it could be a my dad my dog wants to get in could be um oh, what am i I forget the name of. They've got the top hat with the belt buckle. They've got the white collar. Could be one of them. They're known for having hunted witches in the past and that. <sighs> Pilgrim, that's it. Could be a pilgrim. Um, it seems that. So it's. When was the pilgrim? Hmm. Trying to figure this out. Um, Christianity. Um, what? 
I think I'm just going to go Google when did pilgrims hunt witches. This is probably just going to be the same witch trials. Yeah. And we know that Jen was only cursed about, well, bound a hundred years ago. I think that's what she said anyway. It could still be someone who followed pilgrim principles. I don't know who the old lady in Lilia's um, vision is. Unless... I can't quite see if that's a... Um, almost mummified version of the actress and death coming to collect her. Hmm. There's a whole lot of just information. This was a very dense episode. And so many of it was in like small scenes or just throwaway lines. Like the whole conversation between Jen and T. Where she's like, traded her son for the Darkhold, wouldn't recognize her son if he showed up on her doorstep, could be an agent of Mephisto, all of that. All of these are theories that people came out of the first two episodes with. Like, is teen, um, Nicholas, um, Harkness, well, Nicholas Scratch, is he an agent of Mephisto? Because we've been thinking, wondering about him since the Wonder Vision days. So is Teen Nicholas Scratch? Is he Billy Kaplan? It seems that I can't. I don't know if they're throwing this out there to be like, yeah, you think this, so let's put it in the episode so that you know that it isn't this, or is this meant to be a make you think it's a red herring when it actually they laid out exactly what is happening in the starting episodes I don't know because this is a very dense episode and I want to know what other people think about it um, but it does seem like what she said to Teen about Agatha the whole trading her son for the Darkhold is true but also what I said in response to that with the whole she had that memorial room for her son when she was trapped in her own mind meaning that some part of her actual psyche holds that room in memorial for her son and the way she reacted to seeing the crib with the Darkhold inside I can't help but think that maybe she made a fey deal. Like, I will give you your heart's desire, or I ask is the thing you hold most dear, or something like that. So, like, I'll give you the dark hold. However, I'm taking your son, but it's not explicitly made clear that the son is the term of the deal. Like... So, sort of like there's a, um, I don't know, it's not quite monkey's paw, because you are getting what you asked for. It's just the way in which you interpret, or the way in which you have worded it, to allow the fade type entity to interpret their side of the deal. Like, their reward is different. Plus, you know, fairies are known for stealing babies, the whole changeling thing. I wonder if this witch's road, getting your heart's desire and everything, is like that. Where Agatha went down the witch's road, she got her heart's desire of the Darkhold, but in the fae-like deal, it took her son.
Not that she traded her son for it intentionally, but in a sense, she traded her son for the Dark Lord. Hmm. Yes, very interesting. Anyway, I still think that um, Agatha is going to be blamed for Sharon's death. And she didn't help herself with the who's Sharon. Really giving me the um, whole who's Milton from the Suicide Squad. But yeah, who knows. But anyway, um, with that being said, I'm going to end this one here. I'll catch you in the next one.